Hey everyone, it's Kabir Bhutto here. In the previous lecture, I went through the designing process as well as solved one question related to flexural design of beam. We designed this beam for positive moment MU and the positive moment MU in this case for this loading configuration was equal to zero kip fit. In this video, we will design the beam for negative moment and the maximum negative moment occurs at support which is equal to 25 kip fit. So let me raise this to make some space here. Alright, so let's get started. The data remains the same here and the changing here is that we have to design for negative moment. MU equals to 25 give fit. And these are the equations that will be used for designing the section. This equation will be used to calculate RU factor. The second equation will be utilized to evaluate rho, that is the percentage of steel. Then we will assess the value of rho max and rho minimum, that is the maximum and minimum percentage of steel. The actual percentage of steel to be used in the section should be in between rho max and rho minimum. And in the end we will calculate the area of steel to be used in the section by using this equation, number 5th equation. First we need to calculate the effective depth D. And if I make the cross section here. B here and the quotient is equal to 8 inches and H that is the overall height of the section is equal to 24 inches and since we are designing for negative moment the top fibers the fibers above the neutral axis will be in tension whereas the fibers below the neutral axis will be would be in compression so we have to place uh, the reinforcement here at the top side above the neutral axis and let's say the diameter of this bar is represented by capital D and the effective depth that is D is the distance from uh, the centroid of these steel bars to the bottom extreme compression fiber concrete cover is equal to 2.5 inches and if you want to calculate effective D from here D would be equal to 24 minus half of this D capital D and minus this concrete cover and since D is unknown here we have to assume it first so I'm going to assume number 9 bar so D here in this case would be equal to 9 by 8 inches. To remain on the conservative side, the diameter of the bar obtained at the end of the design should be less than number 9 bar. So if you substitute 9 by 8 inches here, D is equal to 20.93 inches. Alright, now calculating R U from this equation. RU will be equal to MU upon BD square and MU is equal to 25 kip fit we need to convert it into kip inch by multiplying it with 12 and B is equal to 8 inches that is the width of the section and effective depth is equal to 20.93 RU is equal to 0 0.0856. After calculating RU, now we are going to evaluate the percentage of steel to be used in the section. And FC prime here is equal to 3 KSI. FY here is equal to 60 KSI. We previously calculated RU. Phi here would be equal to uh, 0.9, which is the strength reduction factor for a tension control section. So let's insert all of the values here. And rho from here is equal to 1.6159 raised to the power minus 3.
Now we have to check whether the calculated value or percentage of steel uh, is between row minimum is greater than row minimum and less than row max. If this is the case, then we can proceed with our calculation using this value. And now we will calculate the minimum percentage of steel from these equations. And since FC prime is equal to 3 KSI, which is less than 4500 PSI, we will use this equation here. So row minimum is equal to 200 over FY. And FY here in this case would be equal to 60,000 PSI. Remember that when you substitute FY here, uh, it should be in PSI units. And it's equal to 3.33 raised to the power minus 3. And we can see here that row calculated is less than row minimum. So the actual percentage of steel to be used in the section would be equal to row minimum to avoid abrupt or sudden failure. And there is no need to calculate the maximum percentage of steel here because row calculated is less than row minimum. After calculating row minimum, now we will evaluate the value of area of steel to be used in the section against this uh, steel percentage. So A is, is equal to row minimum into B into D. And row minimum is equal to 3.33 raised to the power minus 3. 8 B is equal to 8, D is equal to 20.93 and A is from here would be equal to 0.558 inch square. Now calculating number of bars, if I use number 4 bar, the area of number 4 bar, individual bar is equal to pi upon 4, 4 by 8 square, which is equal to 1.963 inch square. And if I calculate n, which is the number of bar, and it's equal to a is area of steel divided by area of individual bar. So it means that we need three bars, three number four bars, three number four bars to be used in the section and our final design section for flexure will be and this is our answer thanks for watching till end and take care and if you have any question uh, regarding this topic you can always type it down in the comment section thank you